Hi everyone. I was just making this video to help you see how you can create a green screen video using TouchCast Studio. So you will have to find it on your iPad. It is not a web-based application. So on your current iPad, you're going to find a TouchCast. Sometimes it looks a little different. Otherwise, we're looking for this icon right here, TC Studio. When you open it, sometimes it does ask you to sign into an account, so you'll have to just create your own account. I think that's because some of the information um, loads up to the cloud. And then I typically scroll back here and start from scratch. Hi. Click there. And yes, there's my lovely face. Now on the bottom, you may or may not have all of these small icons. It depends on whether or not uh, what version of TouchCast that you were using. So if you don't see these small little buttons, what you're going to have to do is click on the words on the bottom of the screen to get them to pop up. For example, right now you'll see the green line under the word camera on the left. That's going to allow us to swap the camera back and forth. And a lot of times it will open in a forward facing view. So you'll have to turn that around and then make sure that you're in front of some green screen background. Now you can still see the green screen. So we have to go to um, the effects tab, which again is at the bottom, somewhat in the middle. And when I click that, you'll see that the screen options are changed and we're gonna click green screen. And so we see that, you can see that pretty much it's disappearing and it's looking for something to be replaced. So right here on the side, we have a couple buttons. We can either replace it with a backdrop, just a still image, or with actually an entire other video right here. And so I'm gonna click this image button. Sometimes you have to click it hard. And you'll see that TouchCast has a number of backgrounds already available for you that you can go ahead and just throw that in. Let's see, I think I will go to the Lincoln Memorial and see how you can still see some of this green around my head. Okay, so you should still see right here the Auto tab. And so I'm going to click that. And so now it adjusts that a little bit. It makes it a little bit better. Uh, furthermore, if I click the color icon, so furthermore, if I click the settings icon, you're going to get this, you're going to get this adjustment background square, and you can hold down on that white dot and move it. Ooh, I am invisible. And you can change it to where you're going to get the best outcome for your color combination. I think we're good, pretty good right about there. All right, and I'll just click anywhere to get that to disappear. So maybe I messed it up a little bit, but it works for now. All right, friends. So there's a lot you can do here with, um, with TouchCast, and you can add in a lot of things around you during your video. And you can, um, these are called VAPs. And so you're going to see that right down here on the bottom right. And that is going to be a VAP. So I'm going to click that. And in the very center, you'll see add a VAP. And when I click that, these are all of the things that you can actually put into your video. Of course, not necessarily over your face, but maybe uh, floating off to the side that you might see during a news broadcast. And so the first one, of course, is a web page. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And when I click it, it's just asking for an address. So I have already loaded a web page in the background. So since we're with the um, capital theme, I have opened this website. And if you navigate to Safari on your iPad, you can just click in the URL bar at the top. You'll see that that's highlighted now. And then on the left corner of my keyboard, you're going to see a pair of scissors. And then you see the two square pieces of paper. That stands for copy. So I'm going to click that, copy. And then I'm going to double click my home button and navigate back to TC Studio. Now all I have to do is go where it says go to this address at the top is hold my finger down in that spot. And in that same um, keyboard, now I can paste 
that address and click go. It's showing me that website that I already picked. And then the top right corner, I can click use. So this is where that would necessarily appear while I was making my green screen video. And so before I start it, I will want to adjust it. And in the back bottom right hand corner, I can make it bigger or smaller. Okay, I can move it around by dragging the red square. And I might even need to adjust where I'm going to sit if I'm going to be talking about this item. So in the very top right hand corner, you're going to see a little teeny minus sign. So I can click that and make it disappear. However, it's still waiting for me right down here when I'm ready to load that into my movie. So let's try again. Let's add another app. Add a app in the center. And we can um, use that same website as a hotspot. So I'm going to click hotspot. And a hotspot is a place somewhere on your page that when someone clicks it during your video, it will navigate outside to the internet. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click in the go to this address bar and I'm going to click the paste button and click go. And we're just going to use that as a hotspot site as well. And I'm going to click use. And it's asking where do I want that hotspot? So maybe I'll make that hotspot right on top of Lincoln's head. All right, now let's go ahead and hit the minus to make that disappear for now. And we're going to add another wrap. So you can see that there's lots of things that you can add. You can add a photo if you um, have something that you've been learning about. I'm going to go ahead and go to my camera roll and just find a picture that I have. I'll choose this one and click use. Again, it's usually going to um, open on the bottom. I can click it right here on the bottom so it will pop up. And then I can, just like before, adjust where it's going to show up during my video. I can put it on this side if I want, and I can make it a little smaller. And again, hit the minus in the corner to make it go away once I have it set. I'm going to add another wrap. I can add a document if I'm talking about information about a project or report that I want to share. Um, I can actually, if you go down, I can add a quiz question about my topic that will pop up in the middle of my video. I can ask a poll. I can throw in a quote. All of these are, are easy to figure out. When I click it for the quote, for example, you're just going to see it ask to enter the quote and who said it. And in the same way that we set up the location for the video and the hotspot and the picture, it's going to look exactly the same. I'm going to go ahead and show you one last thing. I'm going to go ahead and show a video. And so when I click a video, I'm going to have several options. I can choose a video from my camera roll. I can choose it in the middle. It says Puppet because that's from a different app called Shadow Puppet and on the right from Seesaw. If I don't want to use those, I can click at the top bar and click URL. And it asks me to choose um, the web address for an actual video. So once again, the best way for you to do this is to click the home button two times, one, two. And then I have this, I have Safari open on the bottom right and navigate back to the internet. And here I have a video chosen and I can either scroll down and hit the URL button at the top and use the little icon on the left to copy the URL for this site or on the YouTube page itself, if you look under the video and it tells us who the author is, what the title of the video is, and how many views, if you look to the right of the like button, you'll see the share button. So I'm going to click share and then this box pops up and all I have to do is click the copy button on the right. And now my link has been copied to the clipboard. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to double click on the home button again. I'm going to click on TouchCast Studio, and now I can simply click in that box for the URL. And again, on the left side of my keyboard, I have the green paste icon. And I can do that and click Done. 
and it does not like this video. So let's see if we can do something about that. All right, typically that's how you would add a video to, to your video. And it would again appear right here or right here or wherever you place it. And you could set that to automatically play. Now on the very bottom, again, you're gonna see right down here, there is an option to go ahead and create titles if you want. If you want to create some kind of title, you can choose what it's going to look like. Most of these are gonna be small bars that appear at the bottom of your video. So just choose one that goes along with your theme. I kind of like this one and you click it. And type in your title. And I could, oh, it didn't like that. Now, on the bottom, now that I've added that title, you're going to see the only thing on the bottom is the title. If I want to get those VAPs back up, I'm going to have to click VAPs, and you'll see them back at the bottom. And I am ready to record. So what I can do, make sure everything is ready. And then do you see the small record button here at the bottom? That's what I'm going to click when I'm ready to record. And so I will do that very quickly. Hi, it's just me showing you how to use this TouchCast app to create your own green screen video. So now that we have our VAPs in the bottom of the screen while we are talking and sharing our content, when the supposed topic comes up and we want to see our website, we would click that VAP and ta-da, here it is. And next, um, if I want it to disappear again in the bottom corner, I can click it again to make it disappear. Um, then I want to show the hotspot that I pointed out on Mr. Lincoln, and there it is. And I could click it and navigate out during the watching of my video. And I could just go ahead and show you this nice Christmas photo that I inserted. This is the same way that you would add in all of the VAPs. You could also have them all up at one time if you prefer, but it does get your screen just a little busy. And lastly, when you want your title at the bottom, you just click on the title button at the bottom, click that in and voila, here you have it. When you're very, when you're finished with your video, you're going to make sure to click at the bottom, hit the pause button, and then at the hop top hit done and make sure to save your project. So pause and now done. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. At the very top, you'll see where it says, oh brother, export TouchCast. So I'm going to export. And then it asked me to name the my video. So I would say about TouchCast. And I clicked on the screen so that the uh, keyboard would go away. This is important because at the very bottom of the screen, which you can't see very well, I like to turn this button on save to camera roll. So that way it's already going to be in your library files, click save. And that way it is actually rendering your video as an MP4 file that you can export and you can upload to Seesaw or to your team site or to your OneNote notebook or to email a link to your teacher, however you would like to do that. And now it is going to be here in your TouchCast library. You can go back at the top and look at your individual projects that can still be edited or at the very beginning. Again, new TouchCast. I hope this helps you to make your own green screen movie and motivates you to do something fun for class. Bye.